Right. Gilbert? <laughs> Gary bringing Gilbert. He's going to sit next to me. Where is he? Oh, just calm down, Val. <laughs> He's going to sit next to me. Yeah. No. Oh, like, like you would think some <laughs> stud was walking in. <laughs> no, I've no, sat next I, to I, Gilbert I, a lot of times. Nothing Gilbert. happens. Oh, hi, Gilbert. <laughs> no, they're screaming. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. God. <laughs> uh, Gilbert, here is your fantasy. Three women. Okay. I've, I've Look, quizzed them. You Gilbert quizzed that. dressed up. And Gilbert, <laughs> the three of them. Oh, Gilbert's looking them over. <laughs> See, I, now, Gilbert. Uh huh. I'll let you talk to I these feel girls. like Jackie. <laughs> I'll let you talk to these girls for a few seconds. Okay. But, uh. Do you want to introduce. I already know who you're going to pick. Wait a minute. Yeah? Introduce him. All right. Okay. Gilbert, first of all, the woman that you're sitting next to, closest to you. You mind standing up? All right. Gilbert, look you <laughs> over. Okay. Can you turn around for uh, Gilbert? Show him the sides. This is the girl. <laughs> Show him the sh sides you're out for. Well, turn around. He got a picture. <laughs> all right. Did you see that picture? There's no room. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. That is Val. That is the woman who first called in, the 20-year-old woman who called in. Who the one who's not a mutant? <laughs> yes. Yeah. This is the one who's not a mutant. Right. No. Yeah. Right. right. Hey, Gilbert, boy, you know, hey, no. See, there you go. I can't believe I'm doing this already. for you. Yeah. This is the girl who's not a mutant. It's like saying, well, my penis is bigger than an amoeba. <laughs> you know, it's like. It's Gilbert. Yes. Boy, is he nervous. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I know his hands are shaking. Yeah, look at that. Your hands are shaking. <laughs> Val, are you um well that's Val. Yes, okay. that's, right. Val. Next that's Val. Is. Next yes. is Debbie in the blue shirt. Debbie, do you mind standing up for a second so Gilbert can see you? <laughs> Debbie is wearing a tight blue shirt. If you notice her breasts are very big. Yes. <laughs> All right. Debbie is the one with whose breasts are very big. <laughs> all right. Now big I'm breasts gonna, will be big this and year. And now I will introduce you to Tammy, who is wearing all white. <laughs> yes. Tammy's trying to make her assets uh, stand up. <laughs> now, <laughs> the important question is that all you guys... All right, that's Tammy. Tammy, yeah. how old are you? 23. All right. And Debbie, and we Debbie how old are you? I'm 30. You're 30. Should have lied about your age. <laughs> oh, Val is 20, right? <laughs> yes. Val is 20. That is correct. So you got a full age range there, Gilbert. <laughs> how old is Gilby? <laughs> Gilby. Oh, Gilby. Gilby. How old is Gilby? Gilby baby. Gilby. Now, gr okay, how old are you, now, Gilby? One, one hey, Gilby, question. how old are you? Uh, very old. Why did you even give your age? I don't. What, uh... Yeah, yeah, it's, well, it's a big uh, Where did the third girl come from? She called after Joy the show was over. From Jersey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, about, all right, now... That helps. <laughs> Let's face it. Everything to you is appearance, right? Yes. You're into you're yes, total. All right. Everything to but you is. But you're not leaving them alone for a few minutes. To talk? Yeah. I was going to do that with the one he chose. I thought you were going to leave him alone to mm -hmm. to talk to the girls yeah. for a few. Yeah, minutes. I think I think I should talk to all three. All right, go ahead. Right. I'll keep quiet. I'll keep quiet. You <laughs> well, you talk. you can intercede sometimes because radio is not my cup of tea. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> now, Gilbert, realize we took the top three. We turned down 35 women who yeah. all want to be. <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay, here it is. There's Val. Okay. Who's sitting closest to well, you. No, you have to say hello. It has to be like the dating game. Val, say hello. Hello. There's, of course, <laughs> Debbie. Hello. And Tammy. Hi. <laughs> Gilbert, go ahead. I'm leaving you alone. I'm not in the room. I'm not here either. Okay. If I were to say right now... Do you want to go leave the show right now and talk somewhere else? Would you do it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Well, I passed on that one. <laughs> See, I, I thought... I Gilbert, thought just get... keep asking questions. Don't yes. look at me. <laughs> okay. I thought we get some Go ahead. Losers. Talk to the women. Oh, okay. All right. Who wants to have sex with me right now? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> right there, right there. Fred. All right. Now, let's see. Besides me. Fred. Debbie, me. you want to answer yeah. first? Go ahead, Debbie. Right here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No. No? no not All right. right. <laughs> Tammy? Hello? Yes. Uh, yes, me. But everybody has to not watch. I'll close okay? my eyes. They have to... Oh, so in, in other words, words they said... Oh, okay. They yeah. cover their eyes and yeah. have sex together here. Yeah. Val? <laughs> I can't answer now. My dad's listening. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, okay. Your, your dad is listening. Can, can we call your father? I don't know his number at work. You don't know his number at work. No, I don't. Tammy, you would have sex with Gilbert right now. Yeah, I'm Randy. Quite Randy. So it's your Tammy. Randy, <laughs> horny, Randy. <laughs> it's an old expression. You know, Joe taught me that one. Let's see if any of them went over and kissed him. But... Joe who? Franklin. <laughs> How do you know Joe Franklin? Oh, we go back a long way. You're not dating Joe Franklin. No. <laughs> 
She's only 23. How far back could she go? Yeah. So he's been on 23 years. <laughs> yeah, hasn't he? I guess. <laughs> Tell me, why don't you go kiss Gilbert if you want to have sex with him? Yeah. I can't. You're all the way over there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> She's Wait, paralyzed. Wait, but Val. Val. What? See, this is what I want to know. You <laughs> came here under the prefaces... Uh, if the I'm uh -huh. using that word correctly. <laughs> Under of the having, premise. Uh, whatever. Go ahead. Premise of having <laughs> sex with me, and yet you told your father to listen to the show. I didn't say I would have sex yesterday when I was on the phone. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I think this one we might be able to bail out pretty soon. <laughs> really? Yeah. You know, we might be able to. Mm -hmm. What does that mean, Howard? I don't even understand what he's saying. Well, no, because she's... You want to have sex with me. You don't want to have sex You know with what me. Gilbert wants. He wants a woman yeah. to go have but sex with him. what is he... He's saying this one we may be able to bail out. What does that mean? I mean, he's we might saying be able that he might to be able throw her out of the room soon. Oh, okay. Because I didn't know whether that meant... I think Tammy's winning the... Uh, do you girls oh. mind... Oh. Do you girls mind if uh, I take a commercial break? And sit there with okay. Gilbert. Wouldn't and sit there with Gilbert. You can sit next to Gilbert. <laughs> All right? Basically, Gilbert wants a hole in the fence to date. You know what I mean? All right, let's take a break, and we'll be back right after this. 92 3 K-Rock and WXRK, New York's home of... No, this is, um, Buttles. <laughs> Buttles. Boy, Gilbert's really hitting it off with the girls. Oh, yeah. He's totally <laughs> avoiding them. And they're not talking to him. Yes. And when he, when he mentions them, he talks about them in the third person. Uh, so now you see the personality we've been talking it's about. Like, it's like how you talk about your senile uncle. Girls, okay. do you understand that Gilbert can't even relate to you? Do you see what's going on? Seriously. Yes. Is it, isn't it weird? It's <laughs> weird. See, Gilbert has this <laughs> weird thing. Women who are attracted to him because he's a comedian right. turn him off. <laughs> no, women, he can't talk to women. I don't know about that, but I know that this is the thing with, um, I'm picking this up. He's not going to be able to articulate this. Okay. He hasn't articulated really... anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he really can't deal with the fact that he knows these women don't love him for him. Right. They only are attracted Aww. to his persona, the comedian. Aww. And yet I feel these girls do love him for him. Yes. <laughs> he's the one that wants to go in the next room and have sex. Right. I mean, he's the one that said yesterday that he'd last three seconds. Yeah. I said that. He said two seconds. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how's Gilbert's physique? Seriously. I tuck his shirt in, though. <laughs> sexy. He's sexy? I'm a real really? piece of... Oh, I can't. You're a hunk. You've said ass on the air. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Greg Buttle's fitness centers are the area's most prestigious centers with huge facilities and programs for everyone, including Gilbert, regardless of the shape you're in. Do you, don't you think the girls said he should go to Buttle's and work out a little bit? Yeah, he filled up his biceps a lot. Yeah. Take your shirt off. Let me see. Take your shirt off, Gilbert. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't take my shirt girls, off in Gilbert. the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Val, do you work out? You must. Uh, no, I don't. You do not. That's all. Never. That's right. What about you, girls? Yes. Tammy. I do. Yes. Little. You work out a little. No, that's Debbie who answers. No, I know Debbie oh, says okay. she works out a little. Let, let's what about one, you, two, Tammy? Three. Yes, Tammy, I do. You yes. work out. Yes. Yes, you work out. <laughs> I Debbie work out. works out a little. Val, you work out nothing. No, not at all. And Tammy, you work out a a, a lot. Medium amount. <laughs> Boy, I'm learning a lot, Robin. I can't even figure out anybody's name. <laughs> I've got their already. names down. Oh. <laughs> Greg Buttle's Fitness Centers. They are great. Jogging, walking, tracks, indoor swimming pools, Swedish sauna, tanning, whirlpool, steam rooms, Olympic free weights, universal cross training circuit systems, Nautilus, computerized cardiovascular equipment, exercise class programs, three levels of aerobics, plus low impact, high energy, and high low combo. Isn't that where Wayne Siegel went and got that trainer? Because they have one-on-one -on -one training there. I think so. You keep telling me that anyway. I'm not, I think it was Buttle's he goes to. Buttles is unbelievable. It really is. Greg Buttles. Then they got the nutritional consultation, the nursery for you women. Hey, men could take the kids with them when they go to work out. That's right. One-on-one -on -one training. Why do you have to say you wimp? Well, because, you know, that's women's stuff. Oh, Massage therapy and hair salon. That's where I go. I go to Buttles for the hair salon. I knew it. <laughs> it's just like you go down there and it's like a whole... You never have to leave. You just don't have to leave. You don't have to leave. Greg Buttles Fitness Centers are located in Secaucus, New Jersey, East Meadow, East Northport, Long Island, and a grand opening in Coram, Long Island. So get moving and take advantage of their special offer. $100 off their annual membership fee, valid for two weeks only, at Buttles. Go in there. It's never been a better time to join. Tammy, Debbie, and Val are here. And Gilbert. Yes. All right, Gilbert, let's wrap this thing up here. Okay, let's... Now, talk to the girls for... Oh, there's a guy on the phone? 
We went a to see guy who wants to see what? Wants to date Gilbert. Oh. Yes. <laughs> no, there's a guy on the I'll phone that, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm going over no, later. That guy loves him for himself. I'm yes. going over later to meet Bob Hope. <laughs> I'm going over to meet, meet Bob Hope later, right? Yes. And uh, sometimes when Gilbert's in the room, it's like i got to struggle to get the words out. <laughs> you know, it's like i got to lower the microphone. Can we do the news? <laughs> no. So... There's this uh, guy who was at the Bob Hope show last night. I'm going over to meet Bob Hope later. Yeah. Which is pretty exciting for me. Well, I don't know. It might even be weird. Who knows? But evidently, Bob Hope was on stage last night and mentioned me over at Westbury. Really? Yeah. Bob Hope's a big fan of mine now. Well, that's good. Weekly sees me, though. I don't know what that'll do. <laughs> Hello? So you were over at the Bob Hope show? Uh, yeah. And what happened? Um, somebody called out, uh, hey, Bob, what do you think of... Uh how it's turned. He digs me. He thinks I'm the funniest thing since Anne margaret <laughs> What's that? He says I'm the biggest talent he's seen since Anne margaret Would you lower your radio? <laughs> oh, hello? <laughs> hello? Uh, Howard? Oh. Yes. Stuttering John is calling you. What oh, happened sorry. at the Bob Hope show? It's noisy here at the office. I'm sorry. Um, last night I was at the Bob Hope show and somebody called out, hey Bob, uh, what do you think of uh, Howard Stern? And Bob Hope goes, oh, lovely guy, great guy, does a great show. And he talked about how he used to do radio for years and years, and it's a hard medium. And uh, then he turns to the audience and goes, Howard Stern, lovely guy, right? And he meets with a sea of silence from uh, this audience. <laughs> oh, no. And then he finally goes, come on, what's your opinion, folks? Well, was there a uh, bunch of old women in the audience? Well, it was all old people. I was about one of only three people in there under the age of 60. <laughs> I'm surprised. You think like, a lot of young people want to check out what Bob Hope does before he retires from show? I mean, you know, the guy's 81 years old. Uh, that's what I thought. That's why I was there. But, um... And then they just didn't do anything, the old people? No, uh, then they booed. They booed? They booed. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus. What a nice <laughs> oh, way man. they set you up. Oh, Howard. thanks. <laughs> Bob Hope was just fantastic. Uh, it was just all compliments and talking about how radio is a tough medium. He worked in radio for years and years. Hey, nobody so knows how tough show. the medium is, uh, especially Gilbert. Yes. It's not my cup of tea. Yeah. Were there any nice-looking widows in the audience? <laughs> yeah. Uh, with you. With you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I wonder what he'll say now. <laughs> Maybe he's not that impressed with me anymore. He was doing his he own. Was, he was shocked. He, he was, was? absolutely shocked. He, <laughs> he was, was a little totally shaken. Stunned. Totally oh, stunned. No. Said, now well, he's going to go find opinion. out about you. I want to thank all those old bitty asses who uh, sit there in the audience and, and don't uh, I don't have anything nice to say about me. <laughs> he was very you... impressed with you. Damn right he's impressed. Bob Hope was impressed. He felt you were the, the new young uh, radio comic. You know, really? Picking up where he left off years ago. Is that what he said? No, but I mean, you got that oh, opinion. He was no, talking get about out of here. How to him no, embellish? Yeah. He's embellishing uh, the story. He's embellishing. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, th he got up there and said that you were the new young hot comic. He said that? Well, no, but... Well, not in those words. No. Gilbert, why don't you try to address each oh, woman? Oh, okay. And then let's, let's wrap this thing and then get one of these women in here and uh, you decide who you want. Oh, okay. Go Gee, ahead. This is a tough one. Try and talk some sense here. I think well, Gilbert's I'll try to talk some sense. He's already made his decision. Have you made a decision? No. Oh, I just... All right, well, hurry up. Okay, let's see. Okay, see, I, I'm still trying to figure out how Val told her father <laughs> he's going to be on the show, and whether or not... Okay, so you called up under what premise? But radio isn't your uh, bag, No, is it? it never was. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get laid, I'm oh, telling you. I have a feeling Val will have sex with you. It's just her dad's listening. Yes. She's not saying that's no, she's saying That's always been a problem with listening. me when their father's listening. <laughs> Could Val's dad turn the radio... <laughs> realize... You have a hot, yeah. sexy 20-year-old yeah. yeah, I mean, you've got a daughter with a body of a 30-year-old, okay? <laughs> yeah, if Val's father's out there, can you turn off the radio? I want to have sex with your daughter. Val, pretend it's you and Gilbert alone <laughs> in a room. I'd like to have... Yeah, okay, yes. Val, you're blowing it. Okay. I wish. She is. <laughs> yeah. I'd pay now, Come on, go ahead. Now, pretend what? you're alone. I'm going to be scrolling up This is the Gilbert you've yes. always okay, wanted yes. to meet. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Share the microphone. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Put your mouth on it. Yes. Jackie's good at that. <laughs> <laughs> so here he is, Val. Okay, we're Go in ahead, a Val. room. Okay. Okay, well, so far it's going good. <laughs> Val, you're going to have to hold the say conversation. Say what you want to say to Gilbert. You're Go ahead. A, first of all, you're a young woman sitting here. You're wearing no bra. You're wearing an outfit where you, oh, half of your breasts are exposed. You're uh, you obviously in very good shape. How much do you... Tell Gilbert how much you are. 97. Yeah. Yeah. And you're only 5'2", so... She Fine won't line. tower over you, Gilbert. Yeah, Gilbert. Finally, someone shorter than you. Would you sell yourself? Would you sell yourself? Or else I'm going to have to move Am on I to Debbie. Am I going to have to do okay, this? Okay. What, see, the reason I came was to meet Gilbert and see what he was like. Talk to Gilbert. You're talking to Gilbert. Talk to Gilbert. Gilbert, okay. I came. I wanted to, to see what you were like aside from um, 
like seeing on TV, all the um, whatever you do on TV or with Howard. Just to, well, you said. <laughs> well, okay, now so that that could be that could be any reporter though. No. Yes. That could be like anybody wants to know. Gilbert, wanted she to wanted to meet yeah. you. Okay. But she's got to tell him yes. how... Okay, like, we're in a room Talk now. about how you okay. want to take care we're of him. We're in a room now. No, no, but, okay. you know, I how hear impressed your she was with him. Would be she's not doing anything. Yeah. She's completely... We're, we're she's in a room. We're in a hotel. Or Gilbert, get close to the microphone, please, so yeah. we can hear you. <laughs> Look how nervous he is. Yeah. We're, we're in a room now. In a hotel or in my apartment. Stop barking at her, Gilbert. <laughs> yes, Gilbert. Really? Talk to her. Talk to her with that normal voice okay. that you use back in my office. Uh, hello, hello, Howard. Howard. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, Jesus, felt, give her a chance. Uh, okay, so you say what what you would do. <laughs> 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 See, this is what happens on a date with Gilbert. Uh, I Gilbert goes, it would be like what this. do you want to do? Do something. <laughs> See, I he told you, that's what it's like. barking at her. He barks and... Go ahead. Uh, I have no idea. What would you do? <laughs> oh, oh, no, no. no, no okay, all right. Okay. You're the one being interviewed. All right, Gilbert, we're going to move on to the next woman. Okay. All right, very good, Val. We're, we're in a room together. What would you do? Uh, Val's annoying. How noise. about hello, like Debbie? Hello, Debbie, Gilbert. now you're with Gilbert. <laughs> Now, go ahead, Gilbert. You're alone. Go ahead. I'd like to try to make you comfortable first. Like how? How would you do that? <laughs> well, it depends on the room. Club you, maybe? No. Yes. Club exactly. you like a seal. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, uh, talk to yes. Gilbert uh, as a woman talks to a man, please. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it depends on the room. If the room is nice and quiet and you like to get comfortable. Yeah, it's a nice, quiet room. It's soundproof. Uh, it has a nice jacuzzi, that would be yes, nice. Yes, they, they take the window. No, there's no jacuzzi. <laughs> You're in Gilbert's apartment, there's only lawn furniture. Yes. <laughs> at, at best, I could put a gardening hose in the bathtub. <laughs> Debbie, is this the best you can do? <clears throat> well, Gilbert, you don't make it easy on a woman, I'll tell you that. I feel bad for Debbie and Val. Yes. I see Val's very... Val, Val you're very, very disappointed. You're, ver you're very disappointed, aren't you? Well, I, I came to meet him. I... I I don't know. I mean, I knew when I came here that you guys were going to be asking me if I was going to have sex with them. You might as well make but up your you mind that you are. But you expected Gilbert to be... I what? don't know. I... Like David Niven. <laughs> 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 I thought it'd be totally different once you met me. I'd have a mustache. All right, why don't you sit back in your chair, please, and don't hone in on Debbie's time every night, okay? <laughs> Debbie, is there anything else you would like to say okay. to Gilbert? Well, I think we could get comfortable together. I think I could... Uh, Facilitate his Have a nice time. Meaning sex. Nice time. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's move along to Tammy. 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 <coughs> Tammy, you're alone with Gilbert. We're not. Robin and I will butt out. Go okay, ahead. ask. Okay, what would you do? Well, let's see here. Uh. <laughs> I'm the perfect match for you. That's for sure. Um, I take all your clothes off. Girls who do Gilbert imitations. <laughs> a big go turn. ahead. Go ahead. Take your clothes off. Put on a g-string. Have you dance for me? And then we have wild sex for three seconds. That's it. All right. I love you, baby. All right. Now, Gilbert, which of these three women... <laughs> do all three of you agree that as soon as I say goodbye to Gilbert, if he, if he chooses one of you, that you will walk out of here with him and go somewhere with him? Do all three of you agree to that? Yes. yes. You do. Val? Val, I didn't hear you say... This will be at work at 12 o'clock. Uh, ah! <laughs> boo! See, I told, I told you <laughs> Val was the... Uh, so Val is... Uh, okay, okay, fine. So Val would have to... Be, you, you couldn't call in sick today. I could, like, I don't know, yeah. Uh, okay. All right, so you would be willing to go somewhere with Gilbert. Do you still Gilbert? like Gilbert enough to spend any more time with him? Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Okay. Sit back. Debbie, you feel the same way? Yes. Tammy, you as well? Right. Yes. <laughs> all right, Gilbert, please just well, decide who you... Who just decide who you want to leave this, this room with. A big turn on. Uh, Jackie? <laughs> no, decide who you want to leave with. Tammy, Debbie, or Val? Oh, this is too tough. Val is in black, Debbie in blue, and Tammy in white. Well, that helps. <laughs> I'm identifying them for you so you would know everyone's name. Gee, I'd like this Timpanator roll for a little while longer. Come on, Gilbert. <laughs> What's wrong, I, Gilbert? I, I feel like you know who you want, Lewis just say it. Telethon. Just say who you want. Today you get to choose, Gilbert. Yeah, you're the one who's always complaining. No, it's just... it's. Who do you to want to leave here with? <laughs> Val, Debbie, or Tammy? Gilbert, are you afraid to leave? Yes. <laughs> That's basically it. Or you can leave with no one. It's up to you. There are three women who are willing to, I, I get the feeling, willing to sleep with you. Go ahead. Let's see. Oh, it's just too tough. <laughs> oh, Gilbert. It, it's, it's just like dying and going to heaven. He's stiffing us again, huh? I beg your pardon? <laughs> By the way, Jackie and Fred have written down their predictions. Oh, really? Right. 
I've already predicted who I think. Ooh. I think... Don't write it down. Okay, go Would ahead. You, uh... All right, Robin, write it down. <laughs> yeah. I, by the way, everyone knows my prediction, right? You guys heard it ahead of time. Go ahead. Oh, no, this is too much. I can't do it. Come on, Gilbert. <laughs> Choose someone already. Play along at home. What? What? Uh -huh. Silver, please. I'll don't drag it out anymore. Home. Please. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta ask. You're more. going to walk out with. No, I need to end this now because I have a meeting and it's already 10 15. <laughs> You're going up to leave with. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's just too much. <laughs> Gilbert, please. It's too much to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert, what are you, nuts? Come on. Yes. <laughs> Everyone knows who you're going to choose. Let's go. We've just raised $10,000 in the telephone. <laughs> Howard, you want to see my prediction? I, I do want to see your prediction, yes. <laughs> but no, I you won't be able to see it from there. Well, don't let Gilbert see oh, it. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to influence Gilbert. Let me see your prediction. No! What? Gilbert, turn around! <laughs> You're an impossible little gerbil, Gilbert. This is the last time I do this. Oh, okay. I got your prediction. All right. Well, yeah. Okay. Gilbert, please make, just make a choice. Oh, no, it's just too hard. Do you want the three of the women to leave the room when you make your choice? Yeah, that's the problem. Would you like that better? Is it hard for you to reject two women? <laughs> In front of their faces? Is that the Can problem? I think you'd live for that. Gilbert, please. Would you tell me, know. give me an answer here? It's just, it's too complex. I can't make decisions. <laughs> Do you not want any of them? I wouldn't say that, but I can't make decisions. Gilbert, you make decisions every day. I do? <laughs> Gilbert, <laughs> Gilbert, do me a Boy, favor. Robin do you really want, Gilbert, me. answer me quickly, because I really yes. do have to move along. Yes. I, I have okay. no time for this nonsense. Okay. <laughs> you told me you were interested in oh, sleeping. Oh, this is the mature Howard. <laughs> You've got three women here. Yes. Is it that you're embarrassed to make a decision in front of the three of them face to face? Would you like the three of them to leave so you can make your decision? What, you mean I'd be less embarrassed on the air without them in the room? Right. Yes. You would? Would you like that? I don't think so. Can I you make a decision now I who you would like to leave with? Right now. You can leave with none of when them? When will you make a decision? You can leave with one of them. Just tell us who it is. It's too complicated. <laughs> it's way too complicated a decision. I'm right, Howard. He don't like us. <laughs> are you what afraid happened? to be with one of them after you choose? That's are, you are you feeling awkward about what's going to happen when you leave the room? What's going to happen? I'll describe Wait, everything yeah, what's going to okay. happen. Girls, am I right in saying this? That as soon as Gilbert chooses one of you, the other two are willing to leave this room. Mm -hmm. We'll wrap up the show with a little news. And You'll be Gilbert, gracious. Everything, will be, everything will be gracious. And you will say to Gilbert, because Gilbert is not capable of saying anything, Gilbert, come with me. Would all of you be willing to say to Gilbert, Gilbert, come with me now? Mm-hmm. Yes. Val, would you be willing to say that as well? Yes. You will turn to Gilbert, any one of you, as soon as the show is over and say, I need you to come with me now. Yes. 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 And then you got to leave with him. Is this okay. a sly way to keep him out of our office? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I want. He's just, just tiring hookers to keep me off Gilbert, the show. Gilbert, look, it will but, never be easier for you yes. than this. Then he's going to go with all three? Is that no, uh -oh. only one of you. No, we're just but saying each one of you is agreeing to, to that. agree to that. Whoever gets picked, you oh. will say, now, Gilbert, it's time for us to go. Right. Mm -hmm. Gilbert, would you please make a decision now? Because I really do have to leave. <laughs> yeah, well, I, we can stay on a little while longer. <laughs> or else I just have to end this. Which will make it even more awkward. Because they'll all be sitting. They rush down. How far did these girls come? Yeah, well, I just... came from South Amboy. I was 40 minutes. Debbie, where did Tammy. you come from? I live in Brooklyn. Val? I came from Long Island. Right. They came a long way. You're hurting people. Yes, though. what a surprise. You're not making a decision. <laughs> people from Jersey listen to the show? That's yep. a surprise. <laughs> Gilbert, please. Yes. Three beautiful women. Yes. I'm just enjoying the music. Three really <laughs> cute women. <laughs> this is his favorite song. Robin, what, what, what should we say? Should we call this off? Shh, I, I like this part. See, should the little homo go home? Yes, I All think right. so. What? You're a little homo. You're a little homo. Aww. I'm convinced of it, Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> you are a homo. Yeah. Well, should we have three guys in, Gilbert? <laughs> Gilbert, do you want three men? You want to go home with Jackie and Fred? Can we? Come on, Gilbert. Uh -huh. We're making a decision. In a room with Gilbert, what's going on? <laughs> You're constantly amazing. What is yes. going on? Do you want any of the... You we can say no to all of them if you want. Just give me an answer. I want to go on with my show. <laughs> Should I call page six and say Godfrey Gay? Yeah. I mean, what are you, nuts? I know I mean, who I would leave with. You mean absolutely queer? Yes. yes. <laughs> I hope my answer didn't scare him. I know who you would leave with, but I know who I would leave with. 
Would what? you leave? Oh, I hate I know it's not the same person, <laughs> but I'm not going to say who I would leave with. I want to know who you would leave with. Who's going to leave with? Yes. Are you going to give us an answer? Just tell me, do you not want to give an answer? I can't give an answer. All right, very Aww. good. All right, so that's the end of it. Very good. Pick and this me. will be the last time that we ever set you up with anybody or anyone. Are you married? Time. No. Yeah, he's got a wife at home. He doesn't and a want, baby? You know what it is? I don't think he wants any any of you. That's what I think, and he just doesn't <laughs> want to say it. Hmm. Really? He don't like us. No, no, no. I think he's... I think... Uh, believe me. You'd have How to be could gay. He not not like want you. At least one of them. I don't think it matters who... What three girls are in here. Now, I agree with I you, Jackie. I don't think he'd choose anyone. Cause what, have to be... Why were we going through all this? Because <laughs> he didn't want to <laughs> say no to you. Yeah, either. exactly. <laughs> you invited me and I can't say no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. All right, so Gilbert doesn't want any of you. He doesn't like women, apparently. <laughs> Little homo. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it, but Gilbert, you ought to be up front about it. Now, Debbie, what have you got there? I see you're riding on a picture. Is that a picture of you almost naked in this bathing suit? <laughs> well, no. Is that you? Yeah. Oh, you're very voluptuous. Better give and that to Gilbert. giving that to Gilbert? What's wow. he going to do with it? Well, you know what? I'll take it. Never mind. He doesn't need it. I'll take it. <laughs> very nice. With your phone number, no less. Well, maybe we'll call. <laughs> At least, uh, I know. Let's see. Jackie predicted that Gilbert would go with Val. I predicted Val. Robin predicted no one. And uh, Fred <laughs> predicted Tammy. Interesting. Thank you. Well, uh, Robin, you were right. I don't know this, Gilbert. <laughs> that's, that's, that's kind of a forward photograph. Yes. <laughs> Gilbert's embarrassed for you. Well, girls, I want to thank you for coming in. I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, first, Val, Val, I want you to he's know... He's not getting off that easy. <laughs> he's not? I'll wait until after the show. Really? Oh, really? You're <laughs> jump him or something? <laughs> Bye. Well, I'd love to yes. see you go over and sit on his lap. Come on. Come on, Tammy, do it. Should Tammy, I? do it. I've never seen Gilbert in a sexual way. Come on. Buddy. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Yes, I got to see. Maybe he'll make up his mind. Huh? Yes. Because <laughs> he's weird. She really wanted you to pick her. Val, when you it? called in, didn't I tell you he was weird? Yes. Now, are you convinced? Came as a big yes, surprise right. to you. Here. Yes. She likes you. <laughs> she really okay. likes you, Gilbert. How does it feel? <laughs> what? I feel like Santa Claus. <laughs> she likes you. Yes. How do kiss you know? Him. Give him a kiss. How can you Do you tell? mind giving him a kiss? Does it show? Yes. Let's give him a kiss. Oh. She kissed me on the <laughs> earphone. It's great. She kissed a piece of foam rubber. <laughs> yeah, she's making out with my earphone. All right. Well, I, you know, at this point, I'm going to ask the girls to... Uh, I guess to exit. I don't know. I was going to ask, does Tammy notice anything happening with Gilbert? Did you feel a lump in his there? pants? Is there a lump in Gilbert's there's, there's pants? Too much weight for blood to travel. There's a lump when he walks yes. in. Yes. Is there a lump in his the pants? The veins are cut off. <laughs> there isn't, huh? No dampness. No dampness. <laughs> Wait a minute. I got to concentrate. <laughs> Tammy, I'm going to ask you to now get out of Gilbert's lap. And, Val, would you do me a favor? Would you sit on Gilbert's lap? Excuse me? Would you mind? Maybe, yeah, but this is a test. I just can't believe he's rejecting all three of you. Do you mind sitting on Gilbert's lap? I have tremendous self-control. <laughs> what is it, Gary? Uh-oh. Well, once again, the phones are going absolutely mad out look there. Look at... The, look at... Wait a second. Yes. You should, uh... Val... Yes. Oh, now, look at that. Yes. Wow. That looks nice. Sure it looks nice. Yes. Why do you, you don't want feel, to know what Gary has Val, to Val, do you feel anything with for him, or is anything sexual? I mean, no. does it no. feel like Gilbert is warming up to you at all? Well, it's pretty hard in a room full of people. I understand. Debbie, go over, go over I, to I Gilbert. I get hard now. in a room full okay. of people. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh, please. <Gilbert. laughs> Gary, why are the phones going nuts? Well, uh, the phones and the faxes are basically, you know, blah, blah, boo. Oh, this is the last time Gilbert's ever getting any women or anything. They're sort of taking the up the homo motif. Yeah, right. I mean, yes. But people are screaming, yelling that you, you got to Gilbert all these girls and he's not doing anything. Yeah, I mean, he's just, <laughs> well, this confirms me. Yes. <laughs> and now he's got girls on his lap. I am very shocked. Val, I really thought Gilbert was going to freak out over you. I, Tammy and you're Debbie, no lovely. offense, you're very beautiful. Thank you. Debbie, very beautiful. Thank but you. I thought Gilbert was going to freak out over you, Val. I'll be honest with you. Thank you. I thought with the big breasts and the whole, the whole body and the whole thing, I thought he was going to go out of his mind. I but, guess uh, Gilbert just likes magazines. Yeah. <laughs> Gilbert likes to sit in my office and stare at magazines. <laughs> or pretend to be interested in girls. I don't know. We've been sending him home with this material for years. What do you think happens to it? Val, are you wearing panties? Yes. You are? Yes. I'm not. Who no. is it? <laughs> Debbie? <laughs> or Tammy is it? Tammy. I am. Well, all right. And Debbie was the most aggressive. I was very surprised. <laughs> very lovely. Very lovely. 
and to reject Debbie and Tammy as well is frightening. Now they're Tammy. talking amongst themselves. Tammy is, is... I could understand it if there was some reason given by each of the girls for Gilbert to reject them, but I, I think his mind was made up when he walked through the door. Well, girls, I'm going to ask Gary now to escort you out of here, and I want to thank you for playing this game. I don't know what to say. Val, are you okay? You seem very hurt. No. You're all right. Debbie, I'm sorry. I'm certainly sure that these women aren't used to being rejected. No. I am very sorry, girls. I don't know what to say. This is a tough day for them. Tammy, I can't describe Gilbert's sexuality for, you know, I just really don't know what to say. Okay? Okay. You're a very beautiful woman. All all three of you are very beautiful. Thank you for coming. Thank Thank you. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. Thanks. The guy's, a, the guy's a homo. <laughs> it's the only logical thing I can think of. What is that? Don't give him your phone number, please. Oh, she I wants my autograph. autograph. Yeah. Please? Why? Because. Well, all right, we'll get Why that for you, you after. We'll get that after. Okay, here. Here, watch this. Watch this. Can I have your phone number? No. Yes. Yeah? No. no. Okay, you do I, it. I gave it to them yesterday. No, do you take that away, Not Jackie. Not to them. What? Not to them, to me. <laughs> I, I want the phone number. I, why would he have the phone number? No, let him have call. him because he's not going to call him. He is convinced yeah. that no woman on earth would want him. Don't give your phone numbers. Yes. I want him to make a commitment now. That was the point. They like you, Gilbert. Well, uh, Jackie, please grab those numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert's grabbing. <laughs> well, can, you know, can we do a show? <laughs> nobody wants to let. Nobody will. Gary radio. won't come in and escort anybody out. <laughs> Bubba he won't listen Bubba to me. Boom. I can't win with this guy. <laughs> Why is Gilbert taking their phone numbers <laughs> if they're all available right now and he won't choose Because one. it's stupid. And, you know, he's just being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he's stupid and he's being stupid. Here you go. Thank you. I don't understand it. I just signed a copy of Who's Last Album. <laughs> well, he'll be happy to hear this. Gary, can I get you in here to take people out? Baba Booey. <laughs> you got to calm down. Calm down. I've been saying this for ten minutes. Yeah. And now you'll tell me I haven't been saying it for yeah, ten minutes. I was just here two minutes. Uh, Howard, would you just calm down? What? Why don't you talk to that guy on the Who's phone? Who's on the phone? Funny story about Gilbert. All right. Thank you, Val. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. Thank you, Gilbert. Uh-huh. You dope. Uh-huh. Something wrong with you, man. Val. I don't understand why we keep getting trapped into uh, this Gilbert thing. I can't Val, remember. you're looking good in that top. Thank you. Oh, Jesus, Gilbert, you're a little homo. I swear uh-huh. to God. I think you're a homo. Yeah. Gilbert, I'm thinking you're a homo. Uh-huh. Are you out of your mind? Come on. Debbie's not leaving. I'm checking uh-huh. out this outfit. How old are you, Val? <laughs> 20. Bye, Debbie. How old are you, Debbie? Thank you. Bye. Whoa. What? What are you showing me? <laughs> Gilbert, I've, I've had it with you. I'm okay. fed up with you. He doesn't even want to read anything from Yeah, me. what is it? Hello? Yeah, what do you want? Hi, uh, am I remaining anonymous here? Or? Yes, sure. you're on the air. <laughs> You're on the air, though. Okay. Um, yeah, basically what, what I had, had known is uh, whenever he goes up to do Mr. Rips, yeah. uh, part of the deal is they, uh, they kind of end the night by taking him out to the strip joints. Really? Yeah. Oh, surprise, it's, surprise. That's, uh, that's, that's Dimitri and Boris up there. What? Is that his, they don't pay him money? They just take him to strip clubs? No, 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 no. That, that's uh, it's always curious who Gary puts through, and then the guy just says, oh, they take Gilbert to strip clubs. That concludes... Boy, what, what shocking news. I mean... He's the only one who does that. Yeah. Are these male strip clubs or female? <laughs> yeah. uh, no, All right, thank you. Are... Gilbert, what's, did you see that girl Val's body? Yeah. I mean... Cute. That's the one whose father was listening. Beyond cute. What's that got to do with anything, Gilbert? I don't think I've seen penthouse pets with a body like that. I really don't. I've seen Penn. I saw a Playboy playmate come in here the other day. Didn't have a body like that. You know what? Those four girls who came in, that blonde. Mm-hmm. She didn't have a body like that. No, that was a different kind of body. What are you doing? They were all nice bodies. What the though. hell is wrong with you? Seriously, what is going on with you? <laughs> you certainly didn't act like a guy who's interested in women. And what are you wasting everyone's time for? I'm sitting here, I, I threw G. Gordon Liddy out for this. <laughs> I was having a great time with him. I don't understand him. A little nut. He's your friend. <laughs> no, he's not. He's your friend. <laughs> oh, no, he's not. You're on the air. Hello, Howard. Yeah. What is wrong with that guy? He's yeah. a little homo. You ruined my day. I'm sitting in my telephone truck working, having the best day. I'm saying, it's a great show. 
any guy would give any well, guy You had to see, to listen, you can't I'm not even saying, imagine. This girl was real. I am not cute. saying that Debbie and Tammy weren't good looking. I'm talking about this girl, Val, is wearing a tight jumpsuit, has a body of a penthouse pet, and Gilbert is sitting there like some loser. Oh, I know, come on. <laughs> hey, that Val had perfect jugs, Howard, and two thirds of it was hanging out. I, I, I like to call up and say, Michelle, let me go on that show. Let of course, any show. man. She would let me go with one of those beautiful girls. And this guy said, "Listen, here's another thing. You're married. You put your you put your your marriage on the line every day. I kid around. That's right. I got serious. I saw him in good fun, but you do it. Now That's this guy right. comes on your show. He's your buddy. You give him all this plug time, and this is what he does. He's a dope. He's probably a good guy. <laughs> You just messed up today, Pat. All right, thank you. Hey, you're the best. I like. I really enjoy your show. Sure, you came off like one big homo. He's a homo. Hey, where am I, a homo? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Gilbert. What the hell are you thinking, man? Yeah, but what was that all about? Just tell me. Just give me a clue what that was all about. What, me? I come Why did we go through all that? You didn't find Val attractive. I don't know. People ask me to come in. I can't say no. I said before before you came in, I said, Gilbert is going to freak over this Val. Yeah. Did you know, like, Ro Robin's prediction was no one. I said when you started this yesterday, mm -hmm. Gilbert stiffed us on the dial -a date I don't know about him and women. You know, we had a whole discussion after that he incident. He was begging me afterwards. He wanted to meet her. When's the last time? <laughs> yes, you're on the air. Dude. Yeah. Man, what's the matter with him, man? Every time you have him on here, it, ju it just dies, the radio show. Yeah, <laughs> he ruins it. Gilbert's killing everything, man. Gilbert, radio's not your bag. It's not your cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea. Just say you don't want the women. You should have said that yeah. yesterday. I'm not interested in meeting any women. You did great yesterday. You come in here, I set you up with the women, and that's it. Then walk out and go get laid. And, you know, we try to hang in there with him, man. You try, you try to put up with him, but... Uh, Something wrong he just with comes him. in off the street all the time, but uh, I'm telling you, man, just turning down the women left and right, uh, that guy's crazy. Something wrong with him. <laughs> and it's not natural, is it? It ain't natural. <laughs> it isn't. It's not natural. It ain't natural. <laughs> it isn't. The guy's right. Wow, his behavior ain't He's natural. He's behaving like a homo. <laughs> I'm stunned. Everyone is stunned. This is Gilbert, like when Kennedy got now, shot, Robin. Wait a minute. Everybody will remember where they were on this day. I know. But you keep telling me you know for a fact that Gilbert likes women. I thought he did. Now I'm starting to think that he might be a homo. Are you a homo? I'm asking you point blank. Oh, me, a major queen. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, Fred, why don't you go kiss Gilbert? You stupid dick. <laughs> <laughs> People are mad at you. Thank you for the call. Okay. All right. You're on the air. Yo. Hey, yeah, I, I kind of respect Gilbert for not, not oh, coming yeah. into your... Oh, oh, okay. Another homo. Uh, I'm going still on the phone. Hey, I don't know. It didn't hang up. It's like I got two guys on the phone. <laughs> yeah, it's like two guys at once. That's hey, a, yeah. See, that that's one's that's a what joke Gilbert call. like. Hey, yeah. Gilbert, don't you want two guys at once? Are you jealous? Yeah, the guys on his lap. <laughs> okay, if you were in a room with me, what would you do? <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. That other guy was sympathetic. I wanted to know his rationale. Well, it yeah. was it was good homo, bad homo. <laughs> You're on the air. Hey, Howard. Yeah. Hey, hey, don't you remember that time when uh when he was on your show, and and he was and he's like crazy, he's making fun of the homo guy. Yeah. Yeah, he was doing that. Yeah. Now he's doing it now. Right. He, he, I don't know what's the matter with with Gilbert. You know who knows? Ronnie, the limo driver. Oh yeah. Oh, he uh, screams about Gilbert to me all the time. What does uh, Ronnie say? Here, I'll let you hear. Hold on, I'll call Ronnie. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the call. Hey, thanks a lot, Alex. Ronnie's like, the yeah. chief analyst on the show. Na na dee. Na na dee. Dee Gilbert, man, you're blowing my mind. <laughs> this girl Val had a body. I've I've not seen a body like that in a long time. Well, you look at me every day. So. <laughs> well, you're on the air. Doing, man. Well, you got someone in the car? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's why I didn't. That's why I didn't call in. Yeah, hey man. Oh, you're dead, man. When I get hit, when I get a hold of this guy, when nobody's in the car, he's at it. <laughs> oh, Gilbert? Yeah, he's is Gilbert's in your car sometimes. No, when I'm is saying. Gilbert ever in your car? Yeah, it's like when he gets a hold of me in his car. Are you uh, nuts, Ronnie? <laughs> Ronnie's in the limo with his pants down to his knees. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that Ronnie has like other people in my limo. You know, he does other jobs. Yeah, it's not your limo. Why. Well, it really, especially, is especially right now. Oh, especially really? right now, boy, could I listen to this guy? <laughs> you could listen but, to Gilbert. Just oh. tell me what you're thinking. Do were you listening at all? Yeah, I was listening. What, what's going on with him? He's a 
faggot. Oh, oh, All right, Ronnie, take it easy. Oh, Ronnie. Why we call you? Right. Ronnie. <laughs> You've even shocked the people on this show. <laughs> well, Ronnie, that Ronnie. was offensive. I, That's I want offensive. You, I want you to drive off and think about what you said. <laughs> yeah, believe me, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I want you to go through those turnpikes and think about what you said today. Yeah, really? Yeah. Well, do you want really? to say anything? No, nah, I can't right now. All right. All right, goodbye. Okay. He can say oh, you're uh, a faggot. He says faggot, he but he can't now? talk now. Yes, oh, my yes. goodness. I've been trying, you know, I've been trying to make, but I've been like trying to, to teach Ronnie to be more sensitive toward homosexuality <laughs> and to different ethnic groups I and stuff. I see you've gotten far. Yeah, I, it doesn't get anywhere, though. <laughs> I said, you know, faggot is an, an offensive term. Homosexuals now, you know, they deserve a life and they deserve not to be picked on. And to say faggot is the worst of saying nigger and stuff like that. Forget it. I can't get through to the guy. And he goes, what's wrong with nigger? Yeah, yeah he, right. He, he's a faggot, but I can't talk right now. I can, he's a faggot. I can't talk right now. There's a nigger in the car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad. You're very influential, Howard. No, he doesn't say. He, he doesn't, you know. He's pretty good. You know, he says the right thing about black people he's and Jews and, and, you know, and, but the gays he's having a problem with. Goodness. But I'm glad to see that your influence is having some effect. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got to tell you, men who don't walk properly, you know, men who have problems walking, yeah. uh, they're safe on the sidewalk when he's driving. <laughs> People with handicaps. Oh, man. Because every time I have Gilbert on, he goes, hey, man, let me talk to that guy on the air. Really? Yeah. Oh, and this time he has somebody in the car. I've never seen the phones ringing like this. This is why I'm picking them up. I mean, I've just never seen such out and out. It's Ronnie calling back. Hello? Yeah. Philadelphia, you're on the air. Gilbert, you're such a geek. <laughs> yeah, he really is. Yeah, I got to agree with the guy, Gilbert. You know, you're you know, you're just you're a geek. Anybody who'd sit there and not pick one of them has to be out of their mind. <laughs> I mean, even just to carry on the ruse. You know, right. You could have walked out of here and had lunch. Now, you know what it is now? Now he's thinking to himself, hey, that Val was good looking as Howard's telling me. He was embarrassed that maybe they weren't good looking enough. But he can see. But no, no he needed someone to point it out. How close am I to the truth, Gilbert? But wait a minute. I don't know. Let's see by the next call. What about that girl who called in that time? She came in here. She was a knockout. You're right. I forgot about that. How old was Val, Howard? 20. God's real fair. He gave Gilbert incredible, incredible comic ability. And he has no idea how to parlay it into some gashish. I mean, it's, just, it's throwing itself at him, and he Gilbert, still can't catch it. People are mad at you, man. Yes. You still didn't answer Howard's question, Gilbert. What were you thinking? I was thinking about the Holocaust. <laughs> I just have odd ideas to harm women. Hook me up with Val, Howard. Oh, let me tell you something. Before you get hooked up with Val, I'm hooking myself up with Val. I'll take seconds. <laughs> Let me tell you, that girl That girl has a body that could be in, pl in Penthouse. Put her on the TV show. I'm going to put her on there. Model, she could yeah. be. Where is Val? Get her back in here and I'll make out with Gilbert her. Gilbert has her number. She does? Yeah, Gilbert, <laughs> now Gilbert will call, though. You wait. I guarantee you, you, Gilbert will call. I don't believe so. Oh, yes, he will. He'll call three of them, though. No, he won't. He's going to call Val because I found Val attractive. <laughs> he was waiting. To That's why I didn't want him to have the number. I'm very upset that he has the number. Uh -huh. He was waiting to see what everybody else I can't thought. figure him out. You think you have a beat on him. I can't figure this guy out at all. You think he's a homo? No, I think uh, he's like the mayor, the former mayor. <laughs> asexual. Oh, really? Yeah. I've never heard anyone say that about Gilbert. <laughs> I'm going out on a limb and making that. Thank you for that. <laughs> Let's see what Ronnie thinks. All right, we'll call Ronnie back. Yeah, okay. <laughs> See if he's dumped that passenger. Yeah. But Gilbert goes to strip shows and stuff. He's like a guy that goes to the ballpark and will watch the game but has no intention of ever playing. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Seriously. Yeah, that's pretty weird. That's What's that all about? You know what? This guy Gilby. who wrote the, um, the Peter Lawford book. But why Have would... you heard him on these yeah. talk shows? Peter Lawford was abused as a child and he was into really weird stuff like he'd have a woman over and he'd say just rub my chest that's all i want you to do uh -oh. gilbert is that you i i'd like to have peter lawford rub my jackie's rubbing my chest <laughs> <laughs> but are you into like some weird stuff gilbert what what's the deal uh, gilbert what are you a homo what are you a homo you hey, gilbert, what are you a homo god you should have seen the body on this girl Sexiest body I've I've seen in here in a while. With, with you you seem a, to like women sometimes. That ass that was talking to me. 
And I apologize that to her father. I know that she's the daughter of someone, but that my was God. Just gas. He probably wants it too. Oh, oh, stop that. You should have seen the body on this girl. Sexiest body I've I've seen in here in a while. With, you you with seem a, to like women an ass, sometimes. An ass that was talking to me. And I apologize to that her father. I know that she's the daughter of someone, but that my was God. Just gas. He probably wants it too. Oh, oh. stop that. You, you're oh. sick as Gilbert. Take both of you and lock you up. Disgusting comment yeah. we burn on the phone. Obviously, this guy's never had kids. Oh, you know, geez. first Ronnie, now this guy. Oh, oh Everybody's my. sick out oh. there. <laughs> oh, that was pretty violent. That's why I stay home. Everybody's All right, sick. so you've gone far enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Well, now you're Later. Just, Later. He I'm realizes just, he now he full, he, uh... All right, one last call because the calls, the, wrong thing. the calls are out of hand. Yeah. Yes. Hello? Yes, you're on the air. Is it out of hand? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I get on to be out of hand as well? Yes. Great. You're on. You're on. Hello? You're on the air. How you doing? Yes. Uh, I think that everybody's being kind of hard on Gilbert. Just a little embarrassed, maybe. But then why agree to come in here and meet girls and say that he wants to leave with one of them and tell me back in my office he well, wants to... Well, think about it, you know. He didn't think about that uh, maybe these girls would be such babes, you know, when he was thinking about it when he saw them. Maybe he just lost it. Any normal guy would go and pick this Val and take her... Yeah, I'll take it. And <laughs> of course. Yeah, that's what you'd do if you came down here. Sure, sure. And Gilbert is, didn't exactly know what he was in for. I mean, he knew exactly what he was in he for. He was hoping, I think, that they, he'd, he'd come in and they'd all be very unattractive. Maybe well, that's what he was obviously he wrong. Or maybe that they'd rape him. thinking about it? If he's getting on the Howard Stern show, Howard Stern's not going to get no ugly girl on the show. Oh, you haven't been down. He watches the festival. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got to go. All Bye. right, guys. Thin, but not necessarily. All right, let's do a couple of stories, Robin, and get out of here. I'm very disappointed. Yeah, I mean, in the it's been a those. shocking day, hasn't it? It certainly Everybody has, wants to go home and contemplate now. Try to get their heads about them again. Yep. Here's some more shocking news, Howard. There's one person I thought I'd never... Uh, experience seeing their name linked with scandal. If there was one human on earth, this was the one I thought I'd never see in the paper in any kind of trouble. Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> no, not yes. you. Jack LaLanne. Oh, yeah, I know. This Very is good. Weird. What is it? He was arrested and charged with drunken driving. I know. That's weird. That's the guy who like said to me, Howard, I'll never eat any sugar. Sugar makes me... I mean, isn't... I mean, alcohol... What's he doing with alcohol? He always says... I mean, certainly, he says, if you are going to drink and smoke, you must exercise. But he had said that he had all of his life been a very, very healthy human being, and he only believed in doing all the right things. Drinking yeah, I'm and shocked. driving aren't two of them. Having met him a couple of times, I'm very shocked that uh, he would do that. Although, you know, he hasn't been proven guilty, has he, Robin? Well, they say that he got the breathalyzer test and flunked it. Wow. He says, however, that he was not drunk. Mm hmm And he wasn't driving erratically. A spokesman for him, uh, for Jack LaLanne, says that he had had a glass of wine with dinner. Right. At a dinner party. Yeah. And he also said that Lelaine's wife had her leg in a cast. And that the cast kept bumping into Lelaine in the car, right. making it hard for him to drive. That's Elaine Lelaine. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, does that sound like a reasonable explanation to you? No, it really doesn't. But he was pushing the car at the time. I, better explanation would be he started drinking after listening to Gilbert try yes. to talk to a girl. <laughs> Drove off the road, not being able to believe that Gilbert couldn't choose. He became an alcoholic soon afterwards. But, uh, yeah, Man. this is Jack. I couldn't believe this. Jack Lillane in the newspaper for drunk driving. We'll have to see how that turns out. This is something I can believe. Uh, Kuwait, they're planning to hang a woman who's been tried for aiding Iraqis. Wait, Gilbert might want to go out with her first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she was sentenced to be hanged. Did you look what at, does she look like? Did you look at Val's body? Oh, yes. Am I missing? Well, are you not thinking that that... Oh, can I, I take the seats home with me? There is no explanation. He'll never give you a straight answer. Okay. All right. The woman's name is Fatma Ramez Tafla. Jewish? <laughs> 
You know what it was? She says her father-in-law fabricated the charges against her. Yeah, it was that she said, I'd rather hang than be with Gilbert. <laughs> and I said, okay. All right, then we're going to hang you. Yeah, but uh, you know our government has been trying to uh, stop all of this, and it looks like we're having a big effect. Why don't we mind our own business? The FCC has done us a favor here in New York. They've hanged themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, they have done absolutely nothing about uh, the cable companies and their ability to charge us whatever they the market will bear because there's no competition. That the FCC doesn't um, that the FCC doesn't get into. Are you referring to the the fact that in Manhattan there is one cable company mm -hmm. and uh, people complain about the service? And the FCC no, the FCC is busy trying to become a censorship outfit. And the jackass senators and congressmen all go along with it because it's an easy issue. And meanwhile, what they really are needed for is to break up these monopolies that charge fortunes in money and then don't provide a, a good service. Just consider that more than 50% of the population in each of the boroughs has cable, must right. have cable in order to get any reception at all. Right. And uh, they are completely free to do whatever they want to us in order to get that cable service. Wow. So the FCC said, hands off. No, we're not going to do anything. That they got hands off, but uh, they'd rather go uh, chase uh, dish jockeys around the country for same penis. Oh, yeah, that's fun. That gets you in the newspaper in a positive way. Yeah, and, you know, the legal bills are really a, a laughing matter, aren't they? It's amazing. Because they so... spend a few hundred grand on lawyers. Did you see this? There's a phony ticket scam they just busted uh, involved with the Grateful Dead. Yeah. They yeah. Uh, caught this truck, an 11-member ring. They were, uh, they had tickets from all over the country for Ga <clears throat> Grateful Dead concerts, and they go outside the concerts when they're happening, and they scalp the tickets, but the seats don't really exist. So, uh, they were making lots of money off of the Grateful Dead while they caught them. The room is completely silenced yes. after Gilbert's fiasco. Yes. Uh, it's, it's shocking. Uh, it's, everybody been, is floored. You would have been out of here already with Val. How do you like that? Do, who did you find the most attractive of the three? Am I, make, am I, am I wrong about Val? Was... Tammy more attractive? Or Debbie? It's just too complex. Oh, I don't know why you're trying to interview him. <laughs> Julia Roberts and Kiefer Sutherland. What is the real reason there's no wedding? He's an idiot, that Kiefer Sutherland. Oh, is that it? That's the reason. <laughs> oh, you ever see that guy? Doesn't he look like a retard? A little bit? You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he looks like a... Well, he's not attractive, I don't think. He looks like a, a, like a hobo. He looks... I'll tell you what he looks like. Like, he came from Appalachia. Yeah, and he's all scruffy and dirty and looking to he me. He put a banjo in his hand. And uh, he's so dopey. He's got a hot woman like that. Just give her to me. Hot well, woman like that, a millionairess. I mean, there's new speculation, Howard. Uh, they're saying that now it's because of her rising star that the relationship is broken. Oh yeah, right. Okay. Well, oh, because she gets better. She gets more money in the movies than him. Well, she got a big hit. All of a sudden, she looked at him. And, what am I doing with him? Oh, is that what happened? That's oh. what some of the speculation is now. But I thought he was with a stripper. Well, maybe that was because there was no reason to be at home. Gilbert, what do you... I oh, forget what... Gil Gilbert okay. has no clue. What does he no. know? You don't know anything. Yeah. Oh, will you want to be with Julia Roberts? I don't think so. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I want to be with Donald Sutherland. All right. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I want to be with Elliot Gould. I can't even talk women with you anymore. Yes. Everything's ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Robin. Uh, the new Kevin Costner film, Robin Hood, opening today. Oh, man. I wish I was with Kevin Costner. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so handsome. You well, too, like Gilbert? A, you see that butt in those tights? <laughs> now, it's getting bad reviews. Not now, very good reviews. I'm no. anxious to see that. I like the Robin Hood stories. It looks like it's well, a lot of fun. Kevin says he does all of his own stunts. Oh, I've got to see it. Oh, then that's, <laughs> oh, that puts a whole different slant on it for yeah. me. Hold on. <laughs> Kevin says he does his own stunts. Let me hear. He's a fascinating man. <laughs> well, they say he's bad in it, but everyone else is good. I run over the four backs of four horses, which is not easy, and then jump into the saddle of another one, kick the man that's holding it, and burst out of town, steal a bag of hmm. sack of things, and swing it, and knock a guy. But it's a big music stuff. Granted, wow. the movie sucks, so but... So how can they complain... I've got a chance of getting hurt. ...that he doesn't keep his English accent going? Yeah. I mean, look at all he's doing. 
He's busy. <laughs> That's not easy. Now, that, Pia Lindstrom showed a clip and said, look how not into it he is. And yeah. it's, she's right. I mean, I, I know. He sort of was sloughing through those lines. I saw that. Yeah, that was kind of interesting that Pia Lindstrom, first of all, knew what she was talking about. Second of all, that he was actually doing that. Yeah. And, uh, but I don't know. I, I'd go see that. Well, uh, I suppose a lot of people will go to see it just because they say the other performances are so good. But, I'll tell you, I'm not going to go see Problem Child 2 because I'm, <laughs> I'm confused by Gilbert's sexuality. It really disturbs me. Oh, He's like Rock Hudson now. You can't look at him in romantic scenes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Living in America, the concert by James Brown. He's cute. I'd like to get him in a jail cell. <laughs> Was the third largest really? audience uh, drawer ever for a pay-per-view event. Oh, well then, I, gee, I didn't think that was going to be successful at all. I didn't either, yeah. but it looks like it was. They are also, you know, they sold it, They said it was live one time only, but they're going to show it again a few times. Yeah, it's live one time only. <laughs> and now it's some recorded a couple of times. <laughs> live one time only. <laughs> but anyway, yesterday, I mean, James is really pumped up about all this. He's got a new record deal, be putting out a new album. Really? And uh, yesterday he held a press conference in Washington, D.C. to announce that he's going to start a worldwide tour. And uh, one of the reporters in the room asked him, how, you know, you just give so much, James. How do you manage to do that, aren't you? I had to. They were holding a knife to my throat in the Are shower. Are you scared? I don't want to die on the stage, but uh, if I die on the stage, I'll be doing it 100%, 1,000% for the people. That's what Gilbert says. Yes. <laughs> That's why he doesn't worry about I want to die 100%. being with women. I will die 100% dead. I'll die 100%. If as I do die. just go into a coma. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be 100%. <laughs> and as and I opposed to just my people. finger flickering while the rest of me is unconscious. Hey, Gilbert, you know, everyone's fed up with you, yeah. all right? 